Everybody who's self-employed, you need to watch this video, right? <laughs> Seriously, we work with so many folks who are self-employed and there are some alternative documents that you as a buyer need. So Ryan, let's educate our audience on this topic today because this is really important. Yes, it, it is. You know, we have a lot of buyers who, who are self-employed. They have great credit and, and they're making, you know, great income as business owners. But, you know, for, for one way, one reason or another, they don't currently report enough on their tax returns to qualify for conventional financing. You know, to get a conventional loan, we typically have to show at least two years of self-employment history along with two years of tax returns. And we do have to use the net income, which is your revenue minus expenses, to qualify, you know, and, you know, the first two years of business, there's usually a lot of spending to get up and running. So the net income can be low and it doesn't really reflect sometimes the current state of the business, you know? So in these cases, you know, we, we do have options. And, and as you said, their alternative document financing is really kind of what it's called or uh, non-qualified mortgage financing. So it's interesting, basically non-conventional, you know, there's conventional loans. This is not conventional. So, you know, there are programs like what we had mentioned before on the, on the tip Tuesday, 12 months bank statements, you know, if you didn't watch that one, you know, 12 months bank statements is where you take an average of your business income deposits on your bank account uh, to qualify really. So every, you know, business deposit will, will take 12 months of that divided by 12. And we could usually use a good portion of that to get you approved. But if that's not an option, what we do have something called 1099 only, where if you're a 1099 employee, we just take a percentage of your last two years of just the 1099s you receive. We don't have to look at your tax returns. And we use this income as, as your qualifying income. So that's a really popular one too. And uh, even if you actually aren't 1099, if you're a, a self-employed um, client, we could do a 12-month profit and loss program where your CPA generates a certified profit and loss for the past 12 months. And we could use a portion of that as your income. Now, you know, because these are non-conventional loans, you know, they require usually more of a down payment, usually 20%. In some cases with, with high enough credit scores, we could actually do 10%. And rates are higher than conventional loans, you know, because they treat these a little bit more risky. So it's usually maybe one or 2% higher than a conventional loan. So it's more costly, but it's, it's great to qualify if you're, you're self-employed and just not showing that income yet. You know, we do have a lot of buyers who elect for these programs uh, just to purchase the house, you know, but, but refinance a year or two later when tax returns do show higher income and they could qualify for conventional as rates go down as well. So it's a great temporary option to, to buy if, if you're self-employed. That's fantastic. So if this applies to any of you out there as self-employed individuals, reach out to Ryan or I. We have a ton of experience on, on this topic. Yes. <laughs> so thank you, Ryan, as always. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.